In this video, you will learn how to measure, log, and visualize your data with the Pyro Workbench. If you are new to the Pyro Workbench, watch our video about the device configuration and sensor calibration first. After a successful sensor calibration, measurements can be started individually for each sensor. The measurements of the sensor can be activated and stopped manually with the Play Stop button next to the graph symbol. The measurements of all sensors can be displayed in graphs by clicking on the graph menu symbol. The left y-axis is available for a single optical sensor analyte and unit, whereas the right y-axis is ascribed to temperature only. All sensor analytes can be displayed in several graphs. Each graph can be unpinned and the graph image can be exported. There are two ways to change the scale of a graph. The easiest way would be to change the minimal and maximum value of the y-axis by clicking on the value and entering the desired minimum and maximum. The second way are the zoom tools accessible in the upper right corner of every graph. With the help of these tools and by selecting the desired part of the graph with the mouse, a graph cutout can be performed. The appearance of every single curve can be modified in various ways. To enter the respective option, do a right click on the graph legend. If the graph legend is not visible, use the Hide Show Legend option in the upper right corner. Please note that the measured data are not logged automatically. Start data logging by clicking on the Record button in the upper left corner. Enter all record settings like experimental name and duration time and start logging. After your experiment, start logging by clicking on the green button. The saved data files are available in the Entered Data folder as simple .txt files or as .pyr files. The obtained txt files can be opened in Excel and are separated in multiple sections. The software version, the connected device with the item number and the device serial number, the general settings of the device and the calibrations of the used sensors, and the measured data with each channel and their respective temperature sensor. It is not recommended to open or copy the data files during an experiment. This could lead to a false stop of the data recording. Further data analysis can be performed in Excel after importing the TXT files or opening the Pyro file in the data inspector. Watch our latest video or check out our YouTube channel for customer reports, guides and product showcases.